Hi guys, my name is Katie, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a book haul for you. It's like the 9th of June now and I thought I'd just show some of the books I purchased, all books that were bought for me in the month of May so far. So I thought I'd first show you the book I'm currently reading at the moment, which is Shiver by Maggie Stivato. I bought the box set from a bookshop called The Works for really cheap, I think they were about £10. They were marked down from £30 to £10, so for the four books, £10, which is really, really awesome. I love when I find deals like that. I said today I was up in the town centre with him and I said, I've been in there quite a few times, there's never anything in that I'm really interested in, or the majority of things in there are sequels. And I went in and found like four sets of books that I bought all in one day, so yeah. I'm on page 236 and I'm enjoying it so far, it's pretty good and I love these covers. I also have the second one here, if I finish this one, which is Linger. Really lovely covers. I'm enjoying this so far. And the next two books I bought are Fairest of All and Poor Unfortunate Soul by Serena Valentino. These are Disney fairy tale retellings. This one is a retelling of The Little Mermaid and this one is a retelling of Snow White. I did read um, As Old As Time by Liz Braswell, The Beauty and the Beast retelling, and I really love that. So I'm really looking forward to reading these two. They're not very big either, they're quite short books, so they're fast reads and there's not always a lot of text on the pages, so they're really good for fast, quick reads. I loved, loved As Old As Time, so I'm really looking forward to reading these ones, they should be very good as well. I said before that one of my beloved authors from my childhood was Roald Dahl, so I've slowly been collecting more of his books, I think I own nine of his books now. So I think I need about another seven, maybe more, I'm not too sure, but I got finally bought The Witches. By Roald Dahl. I think I read this as a child but I'm not too sure. If I did read it I would have only been small like very young because I can't quite remember. I think I've seen the movie or bits of the movie when I was a child. I just remember the witches were really really scary when I seen it when I was a child. So I bought this one I can't wait to read this one and normally Roald Dahl books aren't very big but this is quite big for a Roald Dahl book longer than some of the others. So I can't wait to read this. So I was always love Roald Dahl books. And another one by Roald Dahl I got is SEO Trot about the tortoise, adorable little tortoise, so I can't wait to read this. This is really short, this one is. This is like, what, about 55 pages, I think? Yeah, well, 55 and a half pages. Can't wait to read this one. Perfect for the readathon that's coming up soon. I'll leave details in the description box about the readathon that's coming up, actually. It's June the 17th, which is Father's Day in the UK. But yeah, June the 17th is the next readathon, which is hosted by the creator of the book booth that I'm in so I'll leave all the details below for that so please join in because it's loads of fun. I love the last one. Got loads of reading done. I've started and finished three books in the last one so it was brilliant. Can't wait to read this one. 55 pages so brilliant for that kind of thing. I haven't got all the books in the next one because again this was a set that I got when I bought the Shiver series but beloved author as well. I read a few of these books when I was a child and absolutely loved the TV show by R.L. Stein and it's the Goosebumps series. I have three books here with me at least to read. Again, I'll probably read some of these during the read-thon. Can't wait to read these. The TV show Goosebumps terrified me when I was a child. I loved it, but it used to really scare me. I'd be covered in goosebumps and get chills, which was obviously what it's supposed to do, which was awesome. But yeah, I'm looking forward to reading some of these. And again, these are only like super short as well. Um, how many pages are they? 123 pages this one is. So again, probably read two or three of these during the read-thon. Like I said, I started and finished three. I'm hoping to start and finish about five books in this read of them. Hoping to. So yeah, I can't wait to read these. Love out, love R.L. Stein. Need to get some more because it was ten. I think it was ten in this this set. Fifteen pound. They were originally about forty pound. I think so. Again, really good bargain. Really marked down well. Brilliant condition. All new as well. So need some more, but can't wait to read these ones. And. I mentioned that I had some books bought for me. So during the last readathon, I started and finished The Lion, Witch and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. And I know there's a set, I didn't know how many. But um, I told Lee, because he asked me what I was reading. I told him that I was really enjoying them, asked him what it was about. So the next day, this arrived. This arrived, I didn't even know who was going to buy it for me. He came upstairs with a box from Amazon. I thought he'd ordered himself a new Funko Pop figure or something. But had my eyes closed and he passed this to me and it was really heavy I didn't realise that there was this many books to do but he bought them for me 
which was so lovely of him. I'm halfway through The Magician's Nephew. Now, I've obviously read The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, but I'm about halfway through The Magician's Nephew and really enjoying it. So, yeah, gorgeous series of the seven books and the fronts are absolutely lovely. It matches the first book, Magician's Nephew cover. Absolutely lovely. Nice surprise. Don't normally expect him to buy me things or anything like that, but that was a very, very nice surprise. And... In contrast to all the other ones on the list that are quite enjoyable reads, this one, I wanted this one since Christmas and I know it's going to make me cry. So if I'm in the mood for a good cry, I'll be picking this one up because I've heard countless reviews and watched countless videos of people reading this and every single person has cried, even though you kind of know what to expect. And it's They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. I thought I'd buy this for ages because of the way I've been feeling on and off for a few months wouldn't have been a very good idea to read this even though I feel perfectly fine now and I'm perfectly happy it still won't make me cry but bit bittersweet bittersweet kind of thing story can't wait to read it I know what it's about because people have said obviously I can kind of guess how it's going to end because it says so straight away on the front cover but looking forward to reading this I'm really looking forward. if anybody has read this please let me know down below what you think of this book without giving away spoilers please or for any of the books that i've mentioned today please let me know your thoughts be it positive or negative or anything like that please don't spoil anything though but i can't wait can't wait to read this i'm kind of dreading it at the same time but really looking forward to it as well and i'm terrible but i can't remember the name of the author but i bought the box set of the 100 as well I attempted to watch the TV show last year or the year before with Lee. We watched about five, six episodes. And at the time, I think it's maybe the time, and I didn't really like it that much. I found it, to begin with, I don't know what it's like as it went on, but I found it a bit cheesy. So we put it off and we watched something else. I can't remember what we also watched instead. But I bought the books. And I will read the books. I'll probably read the first book before I watch the first season. Because then... When I do read the book, if I do read the series, it's still a little bit cheesy. It'd probably be easier to like get into and to get used to the feel of everything if I've already read the book. I can't remember the author's name, I do apologise. But yeah, that's it for this video today, guys. This little mini book haul. I did really well for ages. I didn't buy books for ages. I was getting through all the ones I'd already started reading. The ones I was behind on because on Goodreads now it's still stating that I'm reading. I'm currently reading four books and that really gets on my nerves when I see that. I'm not too bothered if it says I'm reading one book, but four books now. So The Magician's Nephew and Shiver, determined to get finished within the next couple of days. And I'm still reading Strange Weather by Joe Hill. I've just started the second story in the collection of short stories, so I need to get that read as well. It never ends. I finished Midnight, the Midnight Texas books. I finished Night Shift, which is the last one. I finished that last week and it was absolutely brilliant by Charlene Harris. But yeah, that's it for this book haul today, guys. I'll be having another one soon because I'm pretty sure I'll be buying some more books again soon. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very, very soon with another one. Bye.